How are you? Do you remember the story of the sun and the moon from last time? Then today I will tell you the next story. So it would be good if you remember the story from last time. Are you ready to hear the next part? The sun remembered what the moon said and invited the land. Then land really appeared. Sun said, Are you earth? You are as big as the sky I am in. Then earth answered, Yeah, I'm earth. It's very warm here. I feel really good. The sun said to land, It's good you feel glad, but if I stay close to you, it will be tough on you. So I'll ask for help from heaven to make rain and make you feel happier. So let's try to draw today's story. First, we need a pencil, an eraser, and a crayon. Let's draw the sun before we invite Earth to come. Since you drew the sun as a circle last time, I will try to hide the sun between the clouds this time. It is the same thing, but now you know another way to express it. Let's get the clouds first and then hide the sun. Draw a circle with curved lines. Yes! Why don't we draw a cloud family? This slender cloud, mom cloud, and this fat dad cloud. And this is brother cloud. And this is baby cloud. Oh, that is so cute that it is right beside its brother. So let's hide the sun between mom cloud and dad cloud. There, I've hidden it like this. The sun was hiding, so I only drew the top part. Let's express shining like this. Now that the sun is set, we should invite land. When I say, one, two, three. Let's shout, Earth, come here. One, two, three. Earth, come here. Oh, who called me? Yes, I'll be right there. Wow, our words made Earth appear. You and your teacher. Please draw a long picture of the earth like this. Now that I've drawn it, let's color it with a crayon. Color the clouds first. I want to color the clouds with different colors this time. Mom cloud is pink. Now if you fill it in with round lines, it really looks like a cloud. I will color dad cloud with light green. Round, 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 round. Fill in the clouds. Oh, good. And last. Younger brother is yellow. It is so cute! And we did not yet color the sun. Well, next we will color our Earth. This color really matches Earth, doesn't it? Yes, this color is good because it is warm. I'm going to color this. It would be too hard for you all to color like this. So 
So here's the crayon. Peel it. Yes. I tried to get it this long. I will not hold it up and color it, but I'll color with the side of the crayon. Now, if you rub it several times back and forth, it will get colored in faster than just holding it up. And it really feels like the earth. Yes, wow, it's all colored. And I will put down the crayon and color the sky as well. I peel the crayon just like this. Now let's lay it down and color with it. I'll color it around and around this time. I soft. Everyone, it feels a lot different from when I color with it up. Yeah, wow, I colored it very softly. If we're all done, shall we draw the expressions now? I'll color Earth's face first. Now here, draw its eyes like this. Uh, but are they closed eyes? Oh, yes. But watch until the end. Wow! So you can see it, do you know? Yeah. I drew the smile upside down. Turn this picture upside down. Now I'll draw a face for the sun and clouds. The sun is hiding, so let's just draw the eyes. And draw a face on the green. I'll also draw a face on the pink cloud. And draw a face on the older brother cloud. Lastly, draw a face on the younger brother cloud. I color the clouds' faces to go along with the color. It looks much more joyful because of the expressions. Well done, everyone! How was your class today? It was really nice because I felt the warmth of the sun and the earth. But our friends' faces must be even warmer than this. I feel your hearts here. So let's enjoy our next time together when we meet again. Bye!